At this point in time, we're going to take a, break, um, take a look at a very important mathematical quantity. It's called the um, scalar product. So the scalar product of two vectors is defined by this equation right here. So if I have two vectors a and b, then the scalar product, which is also called the dot product, so a dot b is given by the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors. So generally, the reason why this is very useful is because um, if you think about our definition for the work, so work can be written as the force, magnitude of force times displacement times the cosine of the angle. So it means that we can just write the work done as the dot product of the force and the displacement vector. Now let's take a little bit of time here to talk a little bit more about what the dot product is all about. So if I have two vectors, vector A and vector B, and if I know what the angle between these two vectors is, then I can calculate the dot product. A dot B is given by magnitude of A times the magnitude of B times the cosine of the angle. Now notice that it doesn't matter if you interchange, so A dot B is the same as B dot A. Also, if you have three vectors A, B, and C, I can take the dot product of the sum of two vectors B and C. This will just be the same as the dot product of A and B plus the dot product of A and C. Now, if two vectors are at 90 degrees, so for example, if theta is equal to 90 degrees, then because the cosine of 90 is equal to 0, then the dot product of A and B is just going to be equal to 0. If the angle between two vectors is equal to 90 degrees, so the two vectors are perpendicular, then because, um, I'm sorry, um, if the angle between two vectors is 0, right, so it means that the two vectors are parallel, then if you take the cosine of 0, you get 1, then the, cos the dot product A times B is just going to be the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. Now, if the angle between the two vectors is equal to 180 degrees, then we know that the cosine of 180 degrees is negative 1, so the dot product of A and B is going to be negative the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. All right. There is some special um, dot products that we're going to be looking at. Now, um, so these are the dot products of unit, unit vectors. So, so generally, there is um, three unit vectors. There is one unit vector that is pointing in the i direction, that is in the x. That's called the i vector. There is one unit vector that points in the y direction. It's called the j vector. And there is one more unit vector that points in the k direction, which points out of the paper. It's at 90 degrees with respect to the xy plane. So basically, the dot product of i and i is equal to the dot product of j and j is equal to the dot product of k and k is equal to 1. Then any other combination would give me 0. So I only get 1 when I take the dot product of a vector and itself. So i and i, j and j, k and k. But once you start mixing them up, so for example, if you do i and j or j and k, you get 0. So now... We can use this um, basic definition right here to obtain a mathematical equation that is going to help us to calculate the dot product of two vectors. So for example, if I have two vectors A given by this and B given by that, then I can calculate the dot product of A and B using this equation. So basically, when I calculate the dot product, notice that when I take I and I, it's 1. So that will give me AX, BX. When I take I and J, it gives me 0, i and k gives me 0. Now, if you look at the next term, when I take j and i, I get 0. j and j gives me 1, so that's when I get my a, y, b, y. Then um, j and k gives me 0. Now, the next term here, if I take k and i, I get 0. k and j, I get 0. K and K, I get 1, which is this term AZBZ. So this is an equation that you can use to calculate the um, scalar product of two vectors A and B. 
Now, what happens if you make A to be the same as B? So if you take the scalar product of a vector and itself, you just get AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared. And this is just equals to the square of the magnitude of vector A. All right, so this is a quiz that I want you guys to again take a look at that. So at this point in time, we're going to look at a few examples. So this is example number 7.2. So in this example, we're going to calculate the, two, the, the scalar product of two vectors. And the vectors are given as vector A and vector B. Now, when you calculate the scalar product of these two vectors, you're going to take, so you're going to have something like this. So again, the I and the I is 1, I and J is 0 j and i is 0, j and j is 1, so if you do everything here, you end up getting a value of 4. Now, if we use the equation that we've derived before, so if you calculate the scalar, scalar product simply using the components of vectors a and b, then you could just say that a dot b is equal to ax bx plus ay by. So because ax is equal to 2, ay is equal to 3, bx is equal to negative 1, and by is equal to 2. So if you substitute everything into this equation, you still get the same value as 4. Now, we can also calculate the angle between two vectors, a and b, using the scalar product. So again, the first thing that you want to do is to get the magnitude of a, which is just ax squared plus ay squared. This will give you the square root of 13. The magnitude of b is bx squared plus by squared. This will give you the square root of 5. Then I can use this equation right here. The cosine of the angle between vector a and b is equal to the scalar product divided by the product of the magnitude. So if you solve this equation very well and you take the inverse of the cosine, you end up getting a value of theta is equal to 60.3 degrees. All right, so now let's look at the next example here, which is example number 7.3. So now what we're going to do is I want to calculate the work done by a constant force. So the example tells us what the um, displacement vector is and what the force vector is. And so basically, if you want to calculate the work, you can just use this equation right here. So the work is just the scalar product of the force vector and the displacement vector. So if you do the math, the math right here, again, you're going to have all of this quantity right here. The i and the i is 1, i and j is 0, j and i is 0, j and j is 1. So if you do the calculation, you end up with um, this value right here, which is 16 joules.